I truly believe we live in a unique time in history from a technological perspective. Because of the convergence of exponential computation growth and decline in prices, and because of the fact that the capital required to get in the game is very low, we no longer have paradigms. We live in an era of a permanent revolution. It's not going to get slower from here on in. Israel is second only to Silicon Valley in terms of startups and VC investment. Everybody's an engineer in Israel. I mean, we don't really have anything else to do here. If you're in the desert, you have to invent something, right? We don't have a lot of natural resources, so that's our resource, innovation. Gaza is amongst the most innovative that I've seen. You know, when the fuel shortages start, they start running their, their cars on cooking oil. I think because of the closure, because of the repeated shocks of conflict. They're innovating to survive. As Palestinians, we need to stop thinking of ourselves as victims, and we need to think of ourselves as people who, despite of our situation, can actually offer something to the world. Israel is a country in a constant beta. We know that it's like an ongoing experiment. To an extent, we have this privilege that things don't work very well here, because then it's always easy to challenge the status quo. It's not like it's a well-functioning country that you sit around and say, hey, you know what, we're done. We don't have to wait for the end of the occupation to start improving the economy. We could start earlier, the occupation is going to end. This could be an example for the rest of the West Bank and perhaps the rest of the Middle East. If this conflict someday is resolved, the potential of what this region can build together, not just Palestinians and Israelis, but the whole Middle East is nothing short of massive. The common thing that's connected us now, it's the region. So we are here in the Holy Land, the region of the Holy Land. Let's start. Take the Holy Land again on the technology level and how we are going to change the world. <laughs>